Hey everyone, welcome to CloudChamp. In this video, we are going to do a simple DevOps project where we will be learning how to set up web server and configure it to host our own website. So I'm going to show you everything on how to launch an EC2 instance and install Apache web server on it. And we will also configure it to set up our own website. So by the end of the video, you will have a website something like this, but you can customize it to create your own blogs, your own portfolios, which you can show to your recruiters and land a good job. So I'm going to explain you everything step by step. I'll also provide you resources like this DevOps uh, repository where I'm sharing the index.html. So let's see how we can set up Apache web server and configure it to host our own website. Let's get started. So first thing we need to do is to create or launch an Amazon EC2 instance. If you don't know about EC2, EC2 is a service in AWS that lets you create servers in the cloud. In, we are going to use this to launch our web server. So I'm going to name this web server and launch Choose, you can choose operating systems. So I'm going to choose Ubuntu. You can also choose Amazon Linux or Red Hat or any other operating system if you want. I'm going to go with Ubuntu here and the instance type is T2 Micro. We are not going to do something fancy. So we are going to see, stay in the free tier limit. So we are going to choose T2 Micro. After you choose the instance type, let's go and select key pair logging. Most of you might be using a Windows. So you have to use PuTTY. So if you're using PuTTY, make sure you use the .ppk format. If not, you can use PuTTY Gen to convert it. But you need to attach a key pair if you want to connect to an instance. So we have to attach a key pair here. And in the next, you can skip all of these. Just go ahead and create a security group having code HTTP and HTTPS along with SSH. SSH is the command or is a SSH is a protocol which is used to connect to your remote Linux servers. Whereas HTTP and HTTPS are the protocols used to access websites on the web server. So we need these two. Next, after we have done this, let's go and launch our instance. So I'm going to launch this instance here. And it is now in installing a launching state. Once it is done, you can click on the instance ID. And here you have it. The instance is now in pending state. We have to wait for some time to come it in running state. But if I show you the details about it, you have an instance which has a public IP address. Uh, it has a DNS. All the details are mentioned here. Along with this, you need to wait for the status checks to come in running as well. So let's wait for this instance to come up in running state along with the status checks running as well. So now you can see they are running. Let's go and connect to it. So if you want to connect to this instance, you have different options. You can use Instance Connect, you can use Session Manager, SSH Client, EC2 Serial Console. Using Windows, you need to use PuTTY and you need to enter your details here. Uh, if you are if you're using Linux, you can just use this command and go ahead and connect to your instance. But if, you know, if you're not aware, let's use Instance Connect, which is an in-browser session that opens an SSH connection between your server. So once you open this, it is saying Establishing Connection. So if you're not able to connect to this instance, most likely you don't have a security group with port 22 open. So you need to check your port. If you have port 22 open or not, I do have it. So I ha I'm now inside my instance. You can see it's an Ubuntu instance, uh, which is Ubuntu 22. So in this uh, server, we are going to know now install Apache web server. So first thing we need to do whenever we launch an instance is to update all the packages. So I'm going to do sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade this is going to update and upgrade all my packages inside this ubuntu server once i do this i'm going to run the command to install apache web server so knowledge of apache web server or any web server is very crucial for a devops engineer because in your day-to-day -day work you might be creating this web servers to host your websites your company's applications and all of that so you need to have an understanding of how you can install and configure these web servers so now we are going to see how to do it and have a website, something similar to this, but you can always customize it to have your own name, your own portfolio, your own blogs. So I'm going to show you how can you do it. Okay. Now everything has been updated. Let's go and run the command to install Apache web server. So I'm going to do sudo apt install and the name of the package, which is Apache 2. So Apache 2. Once I do this, it should start installing and now it's asking me to confirm and I'm going to say why yes and then it will start installing it once it is installed you should see a test page to confirm that it is installed let's uh, let's see so i'm going to say okay press enter here and again press enter all right now if you want to check if apache is installed or not you can just do which and the name of the package which is apache here so apache 2 sorry and it can see it can give you the path which means apache has been installed you can also uh, check apache You can also run Apache 2-V to check the version 
of your Apache. Now that we are clear, let's go and uh, start this service. So I'm going to do sudo service Apache to start. And this should start me. The, this should start my server. If to confirm, I'm going to run status. Now you can see it says running. And to confirm this, I'm going to copy this IP address and open it in a new tab. Once I open it in a new tab, if Apache is installed, I should see a test page. If I don't see a test page, something like this, which means there's a problem, and you need to go back and watch the video again to see this. So when you launch an Apache, when you when you when you install Apache, this is what you get, and you need to customize this to have your own website or you for you to show your own content. So if you see, if you read here properly, it can, it will say you should replace this file located at this path before continue to operate your HTTP server. So we need to edit or we need to add index.html to have your own website. So I'm going to go here and go to the path, which is CD slash var slash www slash HTML. If you do ls here, you can see there's a file named as index.html, which has all the content that this test page has. So I'm going to remove that. So sudo rm index.html. Once I remove this, now I, need to, now I want to have my own index.html. So I'm going to do sudo nano index.html. In here, I'm going to type hi there. This is my website. Once I do this, save it and close. Now you can run the sudo service re restart command. So I'm going to do sudo service apache2 restart. Once I restart it, let's go to the website and then refresh this page. After I refresh, you can see it has my own content. There's no test page anymore. So by adding your own index.html, you can show whatever you want on the website. Let's go to add something fancy so that we can have a good attractive website. So you can use this repository. I'm going to post the link below, but you can always use your own imagination and you can use your own creativity to have your own website. So for now, I'm going to copy this content and paste it in my index.html. So I'm going to do sudo nano index.html and I'm going to remove this file, paste the one that I've copied, save it, exit and restart the service again. Once I restart it, it should uh, show me the new content. Let's wait for it to restart. Okay, now it has been restarted. Let's check the status as well if it is running or not. So I'm going to do sudo service apache2 and status. So it, it is running. I'm going to go to the website and refresh now. Once I refresh, you can see I have a project. I have my website with all these different things because that is what defined in my index.html. So this is how you can configure your web servers and host your own website. In the next video, now that you have your website which has an IP address to it, you can also map this to your domain name using DNS like Route 53 or GoDaddy or anything. You just need to map it with your domain name like mywebsite.com or cloudsham.com or devops.com. You just need to map it with uh, your domain in your DNS. And I have already created a video on how you can create domain or domain names, how you can create domain names and add records in Route 53, so you can check it out. But if you don't want to spend money, this is all, you just need to share this on your LinkedIn and make sure you tag me so I can repost this. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can do this in multiple servers, maybe thousands or hundreds of servers. How can you do it? And if you already know about the application or the DevOps tool that we're going to use, let me know in the comment section. We are going to use that to configure hundreds of servers. So this was just a base video to understand how we do it manually so that we can automate this process and do it for hundreds of servers. So I hope you have understood how can you launch an instance and SSH into it and also set up Apache and deploy your website. If you found this video helpful, let me know in the comment section. If you have any questions, doubt, you can post it. And I wanted to share this on LinkedIn, so you can, I have added this button as well. You can go ahead and share your website on your LinkedIn, showcase that you have knowledge of how to launch an EC2 instance and configure web servers on it. So I hope you understood this. If you did, please like this video, subscribe to my channel and have a good day.